Hello again, YouTube. Today, I will be talking about the importance of planning ahead as it pertains to creating a schedule. It's important to plan each of your days in advance because when you do this, you make sure that you can proactively complete your tasks instead of reacting to what comes up during the day. And when you plan your time in advance, you know exactly what you need to do next. And because of that, if a chunk of time opens up in your schedule, you will know how to best take advantage of it. I know some of you might argue that your schedule is going to change and therefore there's no use in planning. But I would in return say that unless you have a plan in place, you can't adjust your schedule because the only way to adjust a schedule is to first create one. With that, I wanna walk you through one day in my life. It hasn't actually happened yet as of the time of this recording, this coming Saturday, January 8th, to show you how I block off my time during the day to hopefully give you some ideas for how you might schedule your own time. As you can see, I wake up at 4.30 and do the typical things that you would do in the morning, like making your bed and so on. And then I next have a weekend specific task, which is to reflect on my camping sleep setup. I'm going through a process where I'm experimenting with different ways to use my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag, and my collapsible pillow. So that way I am able to get a good night's sleep when I'm actually out camping because I don't go camping a lot and I don't get a lot of opportunity to practice. But anyways, once that's done, I'll go through a pretty standard block, which is where I will shave and then shower, make and eat breakfast. I have something called my bi daily digital task, which is I have a set of apps on my phone that I want to check twice a day. The two most important ones being my schedule, which, you're, which you can see right here, which is captured in Google Calendar. And then I also check my email through Gmail. And then I have another, a number of other apps that I will take a look at as well. I'll clean up after breakfast, take care of toiletries like brushing my teeth and so on. And then I have a few items just to help me get ready for the day. One is I'm trying to get better at species identification. So each week I'm choosing a different species to look at and to try to learn a little bit about each day. So I'll do that for about five minutes. I'll play the piano and then I'll also meditate for a few minutes. And that gets me set up for the day. And since it's the weekend and I'm not exercising, I'm ready to start my day proper at around seven o'clock. I can then, on this particular day, network, or rather prepare to network with certain individuals who I'll be talking with in the next event. I'm the president of a nonprofit as I've described in previous videos, and I'm going to a bird walk that's put on by another nonprofit organization called LWC. And I want to make sure I'm ready to properly engage in that event and perhaps identify opportunities for our two organizations to work together. I then have time blocked off to attend that birding walk. The walk itself actually only takes place from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, but I blocked off 7.30 to 10.30 because I recognize I'll need to travel to the event and then also return afterwards. I might actually need to modify this because my intent for the next event, getting outside, which is usually hiking but could be other activities as well, my intent for that get outside event is to go walk around a little bit more by myself at Banshee Reeks. But of course I won't need to travel there because I'll already be at Banshee Reeks. So I might need to adjust the schedule a little bit. But you can see how the concept remains the same. You want to make sure to block off travel time because you don't want to be surprised when it comes time to execute your day by having to spend an additional 30 minutes getting to where you need to go. With the get outside task, you can see that one thing that I commonly do with my tasks is I'll put my high level intention, in this case getting outside, and then in parentheses or brackets, 
I'll note some particular things I want to do during that activity. Like on this particular day, I want to try this new feature on my phone camera that I saw advertised. I want to find a new species that I can practice, identify, and learn more about during the week, and also perform some initial research on that new species. Once I'm done with my hike, I will go shopping. As you can see, I do that on a weekly basis. And I have a reminder to use my Discover card because I get 5% cash back on groceries during Q1 of 2022. My shopping list isn't captured in Google Calendar. I have an Evernote note with that information and that's what I will refer to when I'm actually taking that trip. If I scroll down, you can see the rest of my day. When I get done with shopping, I need to clean up from my hike. I generally clean the clothes that I used during the hike. This is less important during the winter but it's a good practice to keep anyways. It's important during the summer because when you go for a hike, especially at a place like Banshee Reeks Nature Preserve, where they don't spray for ticks, you could pick up quite a lot of ticks. So I wanna wash my clothes to make sure that if there are any ticks hiding in my pockets or somewhere else in my clothing, that they meet, a, meet their end, so to speak. Then I'll check myself for ticks, take a shower, make sure I rehydrate, I'll often lose a lot of water when I'm out exerting myself, and then do some stretches. I'm then going to plan the next week. I have a series of sub-tasks that I'll complete to plan the week, like just basically blocking off my time. I'll look at Meetup to see if there are any events that are going on that I want to attend. I'll think through whether I'm you know, making progress toward my goals and just in general make sure I'm prepared to have as good of a week as I possibly can. After that, I'll eat dinner, again, review my email, review my schedule and a few other apps on my phone. I'll clean up after dinner and I will check my mail. And if I get any mail, I'll either take care of it right away or file it or if it's junk mail, I will just get rid of it. And then the final task before I sort of wrap up, the, start to wrap up the day is to record things that I learned during the bird walk earlier in the day. And this is because I'm, and the second part's because I'm a Virginia master naturalist. I'll consider logging continuing education time for that event. It's important whenever possible, in my opinion at least, to try to reflect on and to pull lessons learned away from events on the same day that you attend them, ideally as soon as possible after you attend the event. Because if you wait until the next day or a few days afterwards, you're gonna forget a lot of what you heard and what you saw. But if you record what you learned right away, you're going to get the most value out of that event and hopefully the most lessons learned that you can apply uh, in your life or to that particular pursuit. After I'm done doing that, I am going to do something called the weekly Kaufman call, which is an event that I have with my parents once a week. We Skype and just catch up, see how they're doing. And if there's a vacation we're planning, we'll talk about that, or we'll just talk about what's going on uh, with family stuff in general. At that point, I'm ready to start getting ready for bed. So at eight o'clock, I'll start doing that. I have a reminder to use my camping setup when I go to sleep because it is the weekend. And I will do things like brush my teeth and prepare my bed. I will maybe do some stretching or massage. I'll read maybe or journal and start to wind down and then I'll go to sleep. So there you have it. That is my schedule for Saturday, January 8th of 2022. Of course, at the beginning I said that your schedule can always change, so I reserve the right to adjust this schedule as I learn more. 
I hope that you got something out of this, that this helps you think about how to plan out your own time. Please let me know what you thought of this in the comments and look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.